Hello again, I just wanted to do a quick um, rundown on how do we install Visual Studio Code and uh, also set it up for C Sharp, not only just uh, writing C Sharp, but also debugging C Sharp programs as well. Now, out of the box, you would have thought that Visual Studio would actually, Visual Studio Code would actually have the plugins um, to edit C Sharp and debug C Sharp programs, but I found there isn't much out there at the moment which shows you how to do it, so I thought I'd do a quick video to show you how to do it. So let's just start up by installing Visual Studio Code, and uh, we'll just type in on the browser on the on Google um, VS Code, and I go for the option here Visual Studio Code Code Editing re Redefined, and let's just download it. So let's go to, to the download here. And the one we want to choose is not the ARM64, but the ARM64 Debian version. So over here, um, ARM, let's choose that to download. And it should be done. Just take a few minutes. And once Visual Studio Code is downloaded, just double click the package in the download. Let's install it. And we have to type our password in here. And it's just installing it. Now, before we start playing with um, Visual Studio Code, we actually want to install Mono, which is a it's a sort of set of tools including C, C Sharp compiler and the Common Language Runtime um, used to create .NET compatible programs. And uh, in order to do that, we simply go to open the terminal window, and then we enter the following: sudo apt get install mono complete. And that will now install mono on our Raspberry Pi. But yes, this may take a few minutes. Okay, once we've installed Mono, we're now ready to play around with Visual Studio Code. So let's just shut some of these windows, leaving open the terminal. Um, we want to go across back to our Visual Studio Code by going to the main Raspberry Pi menu, going to Programming, and down to Visual Studio Code. Now that Visual Studio Code has start up, let's enter a quick C-sharp program. Let's go to New File. And on let's type something like a hello world program just to test it out. So let's start by saying using system, semicolon at the end, namespace, hello world, return, open curly brackets, class, program. I'm just making these up as I go along. Open curly brackets, static, program um, static void and then main indicating our main program string close um, args and then curly brackets again console dot right line open round brackets hello world and at the end I will put a semicolon. There is a very quick and dirty hello world in C sharp and uh, at the moment it's not been recognized it's all right in, in in just grayed out so we're going to save that into a hello world folder. Let's put it into the pi folder and let's create a um, quick folder like C sharp and in that C sharp folder we'll also put for our program hello world. Okay, that's now in there, and we're going to enter the name of our file up here, hello world, and put CS for C sharp at the end. Now, once we've saved that, you'll notice that it changes from just black and white to a colored um, set of instructions, meaning that it now recognizes this as C sharp. Now, the thing is, though, I still can't run this um, program. And if I try to, by hitting the the little debug with the with the with the play icon over here, it will give me some options. It will say um, 
run and debug. So let's hit the hit the run and debug button. And you'll notice that we'll come up with select environment. None of these options here will allow us to run C sharp. So let's hit more. So we get a list of extensions coming on the left hand panel here. Let's delete the entrant the entry to the um, search bar and let's type in mono debug. That's the extension we're looking for. And that comes up there. It's written by Microsoft. Let's install mono debug extension. That again installs done immediately. And the next thing we're going to do is go back to our Hello World CS and we are going to try to debug it again now with that new extension. But before we hit run and debug, we want to actually hit create a launch JSON file. We don't want to hit run and debug, we want to hit create a launch JSON file. Now that will give us an uh, environment for which you want to create it in and it's C sharp mono. That's a new option we have from installing mono debug. And that comes up with a launch script which we can now use to launch or, and debug our program. However, this um, launch JSON is not quite ready to use. It's expecting to use um, or launch something called program.exe. But um, this script that we've got, the top part of the script we've got here, it just says launch um, program.exe. So first of all, it won't even recognize what program.exe is. We have to type the name of the program we're going to be creating, which is hello world.exe. And uh, again, we haven't even created an exe yet. So we also need to add a few more lines in there that will actually create our exe. Now, exe is not the sort of thing you find on Linux. And um, it's, it's a, it's a Windows-based um, um, extension, .exe. So, um, but we can ignore that for now. Um, but we need to add another line. One is called um, pre-launch, pre launch task and you'll see it come up there you can just hit shift so I hit the tab button we see preach launch task and then we're going to add the um, the phrase build okay so we need to add that this pre-launch task will look for a task that call build and then it will actually build our hello world dot script um, the other thing we're going to need to add at the, at the end here um, put a comma in there as well not args because it comes up with um extra things that things we should have um, we're going to put in console uh, again we can hit tab on the console um, and we're going to put internal cache you'll find there's um, in, sorry internal console you'll find that all the options are here and um, that they, they are they are suggested options so we're going to select internal console and that's our completed um, launch.json now if I save that control s and I try to launch that by hitting the green um, the green little arrow up here it's going to say could not find task build let's configure a task let's go to configure a task and what that will do it will actually create if we look here create task.json file from template so we're going to do it from um, let's try .net, .net core now it's created this task.json but again this needs some, um, quite a bit of modification for it to, for us to work on um, on our Raspberry Pi um, label build is correct our version is correct version 2 but the command can't should not be dot net that's a, um, a Windows command we want to do it put instead the command is MCS and the type is shell which is correct um, the args are um, are not build all these different things so let's delete these args and instead let's delete those and let's put in instead and this is quite uh, this is where the debug comes in we can put dash debug and then comma and then we need to add in the files that we want to actually um, compile into our .exe so we're going to um, go back to um, enter where our file is it's the workspace folder capital F on the folder inside curly brackets and then slash hello whoops I'm going to spell it, hello world and this is our source file, so it's .cs. Okay, so that's what we've got again. The next bit is group build, which is correct. And um, we don't want any of the others here. So let's delete the presentation and the problem matcher right up to the to the build there. And remember, don't put in the last, on the JSON, don't put a comma in after the, the build. It just needs to be without a comma. Then let's save that tasks. Now, if we go up to the folders icon here, You'll now see in our Hello World folder, we've got VS Code, 
and we launch and tasks scripts within that folder there and then there's our hello world.cs so let's go ahead and see if this runs let's hit the um, the run icon and the little green icon up there to actually start debugging and let's see what happens you'll see that it's saying in the terminal that it's executing these tasks and um, but let's hit the debug console and see what it came out with and you'll see here in mono debug what it, what it executed and that output is hello world so our program has finally worked now the th second thing we can actually check now is to, is to check if it's actually debugging and the way we can do that is just by clicking a breakpoint there's a little red dot next to the in this case we're going to breakpoint right where it's going to say right line and uh, we're going to hit the launch um, the little green start start be debugging button again and let's see what happens and you'll find out as it does that it, it runs up the program and it should actually pause at that point there you see a little yellow arrow comes up around the breakpoint is saying here we are and it shows us there's, um, there's nothing in the arg string which was set initially but it's now breakpoint at that line I can then step over with the blue arrow here and it will continue running right the way through to the end of our program until it's actually executed though and we can see hello world coming out again so obviously with a much more complex program you can step through and debug debug your your program and see how um, see how it's where the errors are and so on now there's just one last thing I'd like to show you before we we close and I'd like to go back to the tasks.json file and uh, in the args um, we have here uh, we can actually if you you might be creating a lot more than just one dot c sharp file so if you want to add any more um, c sharp files after that within that workspace folder or whatever subfolders you may have put a comma after there and let's um copy in the beginning of that line and we can add in another file like we can say um write to binary or something so whatever, whatever sort of file you may have created another c sharp file and that will add that to the co compiler when you go to build so um, that's how you then add further cs files or you might have a folder here like file whatever, uh, files there with um those with those um files wherever they might be so that's how you'd add more files to to be compiled when you you're writing a larger um a larger c sharp pro program Anyway, I'll close there, um, and thanks again for watching.